now underway on one side here with the fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. Gonna be interesting to see how long he can keep it up right. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. What a body kick. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Dig and kick. Oh, nice counter jab to snap the head back. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Archer, there's the only takedown. Pretty evident, DC, that he wants to get this fight to the ground, and he was certainly able to do so there. He felt like he had a massive advantage in the wrestling, and if he attempted takedowns, he would secure him. Let's see what he does from this position. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Big punch lands through the middle. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. All right, so the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Straight right, he misses. Ooh, what a punch. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Straight right hand, no good. Hands high, hands high. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. A little single collar tie there. Real sneaky body kick. And just inches away. Wow. Actually got the takedown. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags it with the punch. Try to establish that jab. Nice punch land over the top. It's a good right hand right there. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not too distant future. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And potentially a critical takedown here. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Ooh, what a punch. Unable to connect with the right. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Trying to establish that jab once again. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Just out of range with that left hook. Switching stances here. Take it down.
So we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. If you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Big power punch lands. Now we get back to range. Quick entry to get Man, in on a that single. That was a great single. Oh. Big slam takedown. That was huge. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Back to the feet now. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Damaging strike there. Just misses there with the left. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Dig deep, dig deep. So he counters with an effective punch there. And at least in that situation, it paid to have the advantage in reach. Nice. The Korean Superboy gets caught by that straight punch there. And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head. Now he's masterful from here. Oh, he went to a single switch to a high punch. Oh! He cuts him over the top. What a fantastic takedown. Welcome to the Cormier Express. <laughs> oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Closed guard. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Joy gets back up again. Ooh Ooh, we what a right hand by this young man. Got clip with the right hand. I want to see that Good punch land. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, and he continues to pour it off. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Gotta be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. 
pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Choi. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. I mean, how many can he take? Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Nice straight punch. Got the single collar tie. Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and punches. It has to be volume. And his student has certainly followed up on that apparently. So much volume, but the accuracy, the accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. Boom, body kick right there, landed perfect. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1-level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets on. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Beautiful punch. Oh, nice right hand. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. Swing and a big miss by Choi. Nice straight right legs. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Great punch, oh. Lynch. So much power. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Trying to stay in this fight. And they separate. Nice leg kick. Oh, big left hook there. Swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. And he landed the right hand there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Flush right hand is true. He is going after that overhand right. Nice kick. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt. Not a great entry there, DC. Not a great entry. He showed everything he was gonna do. He didn't hide his takedown. You knew from the moment. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Won't finish this Oh, fight. he might be out. Oh! Oh, and he lands another takedown here. Just doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot. Clean entries. The Olympian's got to like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up. Once he gets to his legs, he's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high level grappler. You don't see that very often. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. 
All right, close guard now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Back and forth we go! Left hand punch with the clinch. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Time the shot pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Nice strike. Gets the elbow up into the target. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He's done. He's done. Oh, nice head kick. Oh! Now they're both throwing with power. Seconds winding down in round three. So far. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Straight right hand now just misses. Good punch. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Just misses with the straight right. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. And both guys really... Oh! He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent prepared back. Effective strike there by Chor. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is maybe John. John, as you did, the weight difference, I don't know if you know it's legit too much. You miss a lot of your classes. If I'm going to do this to anybody, it's Eddie. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of A's. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Nice combination there. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. He's got him hurt here. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it home. Oh, that was a really nice takedown. Just over three minutes to go. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar or just get the ground and pound. He can attack submission, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling, or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. What do you think? Another takedown attempt here. It seems like every time he's gone to the well, it's been there tonight. When you're that... Oh, he's hurt! He's got him hurt here. And there comes the separation now. Nice punch here. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, straight right. 
south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, nice right hand, John. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Straight punch land. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Back and forth we go. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee to the body. Nice one, two there. 45 seconds remain in the round. Big punch land. Ooh. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Wow! He's out! He got him! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. This contest at four minutes, 29 seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by Matt. Celebration is 